Welcome back to Set's Play, Episode 5 of Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom for the GameCube. Where we last left off, we did most of what we could in downtown Bikini Bottom over there. We fought this mini-boss and we came to this new part of Bikini Bottom's hub world. But now, Bubble Buddy, do you have information for us? Let me teach you how to bowl a bubble. Press this button and you'll bowl a bubble that can knock down robots from a safe distance. Nico, it is your cousin. Let's go bowling. Wow! Remember, though, the bubble bowl only works on things that are close to the ground. Got it. Yeah, but they can go off ramps. So what we're gonna do is, is doink. Push, 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 push. See a couple things up here already. Right. Can't believe there was a whole like kind of bonus game mode based around these platforming cubes in the next game. Actually, these come into play later in the game, so kind of told the truth and also lied. Got those two squared away. Hit the fountain. Gold gold spatula. A uh, sock for us. Boom, there's that. Let's go into the police station, shall we? Yeah, we're getting arrested. Woo! Woo, yeah, getting arrested! Except, not really. We're in here. There's nothing really here to do. Except, and I'll be in here once more in the series. Except this little thing. This is the robot viewer. Step on the metal square in front of the viewer to activate it. You can use the viewer to read the case files of captured robots. So, this will read whatever robots we've seen thus far. Oh, this is fodder, not the bzzz bot. I'm thinking of something else. Nifty electrical touch attack. Not tall enough to ride most roller coasters, but more vicious than a pack of rampant clams. Hammer. Impressive, <laughs> impressive meat byproduct attack. Ham is sure smarter than it looks. Goes well with broccoli and a nice shanti. Tartar, uncanny flying tartar sauce attack. So somewhat better than stale fish. G love has the most vicious smack attack. Hands down, expert foot masseuse, lemon squeezer, and does delightful hand puppet shows. Oh, it's Chuck. This is Chuck. Annoying missile attack. Likes to throw tantrums and other various military grade ordnance. Not terribly friendly. Chomp bot. Somewhat unstable critter. Beware his stinky dog breath. Likes to chew toys, random citizens, and mimes. <laughs> and mimes. Technically still citizens, but they... There's no mime box when you put in, like, are you a citizen? Are you a non-citizen? Oh, yeah, other. Mime. There's no option for that. Hey, we can enter Santi's tree dome. Come on. Let me in. Let me in. Daddy, the tree dome is leaking. Oh, yeah, because there's no water in here. We turn into the <gasps> SpongeBob. It's not my fault. But mini arena. Yay. Ow. We can demonstrate our attack prowess. Sweet. Take out you. This is a one-time only thing, so you, you can't come back and grind uh, money off of this. So, do it while you still can. You have three minutes-ish to take out all the robots. Simple enough. Hey, look, bomb bots! If we go and check the police station thing, 
bomb bots. That's what those are. The Tiki's will remember respawn. So, Sandy. Alrighty then. That's much better. I suppose you'll be needing this more than me. You know what you can use for that, Sandy? You can use a little bit of flex paste. It even works underwater. As much as I clown on the Flex Seal family of products, they're really good products, though. Like, yes, there's memeage. Like, they're even in on the memeage. But their products are legitimately good products. Flex tape works like a goddamn dream. Hmm. Now that we've explored this little side, this little bit of hub world. We now have Spongebob stuff, my bobs. That we can roll around at the speed of sound. Got places to go, gotta follow the rainbow. And... With this, we're gonna enter Goo Lagoon. We'll save, we'll save Shady Shoals for another time, but... We're gonna take care of Goo Lagoon. Because actually, most of this can be taken care of rather easily at this point of the game. So that's nice. It's nice. Ah, uh, Goo Lagoon. A sun-drenched beach of sludge at the bottom of the sea. But all is not well here on Paradise. Alright, now we have our first instance of bash attack platforms. Press the button, and then it does the thing. It doesn't just flip up, it'll turn around, do circles. It'll do a whole bunch of stuff. But innovative gameplay innovations. I've heard those screaming sound effects before in Jet Set Radio Future. This robot's called Monsoon. Watch out for his lightning attack. So like Chuck, you take him out like that. And here's our main quest, which I will never goddamn do. SpongeBob, do I look burned? Well, you do look a little red. Spartacles! That darn robot. Robot? Yeah, a big robot stole everybody's sunscreen. Oh no, everyone will burn. And then they'll get all itchy and peel. Exactly. You can't spend a day at the beach without sunscreen. That sun is way too hot. That robot is out on the island. Nobody can get to him, SpongeBob. Maybe you can use those sun reflectors to point the sun's rays on that robot. If you hit one of the buttons on the side of a lifeguard tower, the reflector will turn. Connect all the towers and the light will shoot right out of the big reflector on the island. Then all you have to do is swim out to the island and turn the big reflector onto the robot. I'll stay here <laughs> and protect the babes. But I uh, can't swim. Yeah, uh, no, I will never do this. Because if we take, try to do this... Oh, I guess I got it right the first time. Fucking oops, but I'll never get it right again. Oh, yes, the glitchy, uh... The glitchy umbrellas. Anybody seen that burger of, like, somebody twirling, a, twirling an umbrella and just putting, like, a... Like a McDonald's cheeseburger on it. And just letting it roll and do its thing. That's what that reminds me of. Teleport box. I do think that there's a thing up here that is used for a sock. But I'm not going to do that right now. Maybe later. Yeah, this is just for a sock. I can tell you that. Plus, I can't do it because I need Patrick. And Patrick's not here right now. So, please leave a message after the fuck you. Ow. Not my best idea. Well, then again, I don't have a lot of good ideas in the first place. 
The children's balloons have been overfilled. They're carrying the children out of control. What were they being filled with? I don't know, Mrs. Pop. It looks like they're having a lot of fun. Yes, too much fun, if you ask me. <sighs> we have to be the fun police. You can save the children by bubble bashing each of the balloons. Bubble bash all the balloons, then come see me for a reward. Can do, Miss. <laughs> yep, just go into the shadow of the balloon. Press the Y button. Pop the fucker. Oh, good. These ones are stable. All the matter while we do this. Oh, god damn it. I just hit the child. Somehow I don't think he needs a hand. There we go. Now forever stay on that platform or die a painful death. A plague on both your houses and your summer homes and your shower curtains. Can I? No, I can't make the jump from there. So never mind. Not going to do that. My stupidity will have to wait for another time. So money, money. Make it from here? Yes, I can! Boom! I'll have enough for another sock at this, right? Sock star. Sock spatula. Whatever. See, look, it spins! There we go. There's that. There's this. There's dong and doodly ding. Barn and checkpoint. There's a thing with Patrick over here, but we'll take care of that after this. Yes, SpongeBob, shut up. You know you can't. Stop telling us the obvious. So that child. Is he floating? Yeah, he's floating. I was about to say, that child just drowned. We are now a mass murderer. But how is it mass if it's only just one child? Yes! Don't you know that that's how things work nowadays? Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's bad. Come on. See, it, it's it's physics like that that I hope get fixed. Oh, he, I guess he's fine. He's over here now. Well, fuck you. I wanted him to drown. That's gonna sound terrible on my permanent record. I wanted him to drown. Is it true that in episode 5 slash 6 slash whatever, uh... You said you wanted a child to drown? Yes, but that was a joke. Oh, you bastard. God. Oh my god, you're a little bastard. Anal sauce. Pop out. Oh. Really, game? Really? I sound like the narrator from Stanley Parable. There we go. Thank God. That was a pain in the ass. That flips. There goes my hero. Watch him as he goes. There goes my hero. 
He's ordinary. One extended Foo Fighters joke later. Let's see, can I make it to up here? Yes, I can! And I have enough money for this little side mission. Yes! Me stupid, not realizing where the hitbox was. There we go. It's trampoline time. Damage boost. Boing. Oh, nope, those aren't... Those... These are not Sprungers. Jump over the fire. In flames. And I'll carry on. Get the golden back scratcher. Jeez, I'm doing really well at this point for where I thought I'd be. That works. Now we're going to continue on as SpongeBob for the rest of this episode. Because I think Patrick can make it all the way up there, but I'd rather play it safe because I have a double jump that I can use to kind of do a quick little hover in air, get extra uh, hang time. So that is nice. That is quite useful, actually. And here's a little Easter egg. Sandcastle competition. Well, obviously that sandcastle is the winner, but... Look! It's an Atari 2600 controller! And an old statue. <laughs> Come up here. Come on, make the jump. Yes, there we go. I only had one shot to do that or else I'd die and then have to come back to life. Oh, come on! There we go. Woohoo! Fucking sock. I heard that you were collecting golden spatulas. That is correct, my friend. I am. Have you seen one? Why, yes. We were having a sandcastle contest, and somebody put a golden spatula on the top. If I had a castle, I'd name it Fort Patty Town the Third, and Fort Patty Town the Third would have a big bake sale every Monday. Um, the golden spatula? Oh, at the top of the sandcastle, right. That should be easy to reach. Well, perhaps you should see for yourself. Yay, timed obstacle course time. First, tear down that wall. I was I trying to do a JFK accent for something that Ronald Reagan did? I don't know. Presidential accent humor is not my forte. Or impression humor, I should say. Hello, Gordon. I don't know. I wonder what it would be like if Dr. Coomer played this game. Dr. Coomer! The water level goes down, it reaches its peak, and then it has to drain. It's a bathtub. It's a big old bathtub. With cannons that launch giant ass beach balls. Please tell me there was a checkpoint up there. I swear to God. Just kill me. Please tell me that. Oh, thank God there was. Thank you. Fuck these beach balls in particular. They're garbage. Luckily, they're easy to break. Oh, you fucking dick. 
Ow. Yeah, you hurt me, but you don't hurt the robot. What's that, huh? Is that tyranny I see? It's not tyranny, it's just the way that it was programmed. But I call it tyranny, damn it. Let's see, right? 24! Give me some of that. There we go. Want to get that super mega combo. Doink. Dink. Doing. Whiskies. Ha boing. And we get up on top. It's a good grinding spot for money. So look at how much money you're making for that. And. No, this next part's pretty short. So I'll. I'll gum do this and then call it an episode of once this is cleared. What's new? Ow. You don't say. Squidward bought a new sweater. Oh, he's so crazy. Ow. And there's a golden spatula at the end of this cave. Wow. There's a golden spatula. Wow. Another fine job by Tom Kenny. Doing the cat voice. <gasps> Look, it's Patar. Well, it's prehistoric sponge. It's actually no, that's primal uh, Patrick, primal SpongeBob, because SpongeGar is separate or like in a more evolved form. I'm getting into SpongeBob lore discussions. I'm just gonna call him Patar, and I'm gonna call if we see uh, SpongeGar in here, uh, SpongeGar. Yeah, this section is quite short. It's basically just like an interim level. <laughs> Look! There he is! There's the boy! Loincloth and all. This is really just a platforming level with, you know, drowning obstacles, changing tides, some robots, but that's about it. It's a nice little calm down level. It's like the fourth Patrick I've seen so far. Oh, there's the net that Squidward made. There's a sock over there that we can get with Patrick, but not right now. There are many things that I must do before then. Doink. Told you this part was short. Well, first it'll despawn on water, but it wouldn't. It would not reach. To uh, I can't claim it. I actually have to physically touch it with a character. And that will be it for this. Is what episode five? Episode 6? It's something like that of the sets play of Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom for the GameCube. Next time we will continue on with Goo Lagoon and then go somewhere else after that. So see you then.